Welcome to ResNexus. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of building your property map. We'll start by introducing you to the 10 keys on your keyboard you'll use most when customizing and building your map. There is a legend at the bottom of your screen for you to reference anytime you want to see the functionality of these 10 keys. The control key in conjunction with the up and down arrows will rotate the small green link. The shift key in conjunction with the up, down, left and right arrows will make the links longer, shorter, wider or more narrow. You'll use the four alpha keys, Q, W, A and the S key. You'll notice the way these four keys appear on your keyboard forms a square. And as you'll soon discover, they represent the four corners of the green reservation link. Let's get started with building the map process. To create your link, you'll first want to determine the shape of the link. Use the drop down box to select either a square or circle. If you do not have your unit set up in ResNexus, you can use the Create New to first build the unit and then map it. If you already have the units built in ResNexus, click on the Add Existing button and select your first link to map. Once you have created your new link, a small green box will appear on your screen. I'll grab the box and drag it into position so I can customize it using the keys we discussed earlier. First, I want to rotate the box so it lines up with the outline of the unit. I'll do this by pressing and holding down the control key and using my left arrow key. Each time I press the arrow, it will make a small adjustment in the direction I want to go. Once it's rotated into the correct position, I'll adjust the length correctly by pressing the shift key and the right arrow to make the box larger. Next, I'll use the shift and the up arrow key to make the box the correct width. Lastly, I'll use the Q, W, A, and the S key along with the arrows to adjust each of the corresponding corners to the correct angle so it fits nicely in place. Now I'll show you how cloning will be a big time saver as you complete the setup of all the units. Clicking on site 127 turns it a darker green so I know which tile I have selected. At the bottom of the page, click on the purple icon with the white C in the middle. This is the cloning icon. You can also use the additional shortcut by clicking the control key and the letter C. A box will pop up asking you to clone the item or clone the shape. By clicking the clone button under clone an item, it will also clone all of the other elements of this site, the description, rates, title, amenities, etc. By clicking the clone shape button, you'll see the clone on the page. So all you need to do is grab it with your mouse and drag it into position. Then, if needed, use your arrow keys to move it into position or correct the shape. Repeat this process until your map is finished. Thank you for learning more about ResNexus.